right now. When I was at 39A, I told you everything was pretty much the same, but there was one thing I want to show you that wasn't there. As we come around the corner, you're going to see a red trailer and a black trailer sitting over here on your right. Now, directly straight in front of us, you have one of our shuttle launch platforms. Now, the two large things you see sticking up on top, these are tail service structures. Now, the tail of the shuttle will sit between this, and this is how you had your communications and everything hooked into the space shuttle. The six things you see sticking up on the top that have the little roots on them, these are called rain birds. And I'll show you what those are for here in just a little bit. Now, you'll notice there's only six pedestals that hold this whole thing up. These are the same type of pedestals they have in the vehicle assembly building. And out at the launch pad, if you look up, well, those of you on the right side can see, but if you look straight up to the top, there's a bald eagle sitting up there on top of it. <laughs> America. America on top of the launch pad. Well, the two large holes you see in the middle, these are right over the top of that is where your two solid rocket boosters would sit. Oh, it's a turkey. The larger hole here is where your three shuttle main oh, engines would be right over the top of that. Well, that was cool. <laughs> I planned the whole thing. You know that, right? <laughs> while we head back out. Now, you'll notice there's a building in the middle of a crawler way. Well, NASA signed a 20-year lease with SpaceX. SpaceX builds all of their rockets horizontally. We'll be inside of this building, and they'll build the rocket on top of So that's the stand right there that the rocket will be built on top of. Now, on the top of the launch pad, you see a giant white lightning mass. That lightning mass is 80 feet tall. It's the same exact size as that Mercury Redstone rocket out front. The gray area under that, that's your fixed service structure. This is the top two-thirds of the original service structure for the Apollo program. When the crawler's loaded, and goes across this, they have to regrade it, put more rocks down. I mean, it just crushes it all. Now, once you get over closer to the crawler, you'll see it just kind of turns the rock to sand. Oh, three times its weight. So normally, on average, when the shuttle were sitting up there, you're at about 24 million pounds. That's a lot of weight. Now, these are the largest self-powered track vehicles in the world. The younger people won't know this, but the, us people that have been around a couple of days longer than they have. Do you remember when Star Wars first came out? You remember that big tractor going across the desert? Yes. That looked familiar? Yeah, it does. All right, you think your SUV gets bad fuel mileage? They have their first manned mission to go up and orbit the moon and return. In the early 2020s, they'll have a robotic mission to go up, capture a piece of an asteroid, and bring down into Earth's little orbit to be studied. 2025, I'll go and study that asteroid. In the 2030s, this is where they'll launch to go to Mars. Now, this is a clean pad system. I'm gonna try my best to explain to you what that is. Goes up, when the crawler goes up that hill, the rocket still stays straight up and down. Have a, take a guess on why the fences are curved out the way they are. Shuttle simulator. 
Once inside, you'll be able to experience a shuttle liftoff, just like the astronauts. If you haven't tried that bad boy, make sure you do before you leave. You will not be disappointed. We also have the IMAX feeder, two outstanding 3D movies to watch. Tell me a little bit on the empty side. We got the orbit compared to take care of that problem. And be sure to stop by the space shop. Find yourself a souvenir to